over here in central London, just stepped from Downing Street, and this is Horse Guards Parade here. Over here is the old war office. It's where Sir Winston Churchill directed the Second World War. It's been one of London's most famous landmarks for more than 100 years. It's even featured in several James Bond films as the fictional home of MI6. Wow. I didn't even know you could come up here. Now it's being converted into a Raffles five-star hotel and service apartments for overseas multimillionaires. They're going to be expensive. A four-bedroom flat has sold for £40 million. They're going to have it all. There's going to be an underground swimming pool, three gym studios, a spa, a 16-seat cinema. But what there's not going to be is any affordable housing. There's more than 4,000 people on Westminster's affordable homes waiting list. We're on our way to go and meet one of them now, Tommy. He's been trying to get a council house since he was 19. Tommy currently lives in his late aunt Pam's flat. He fears being evicted because he says he wasn't on the council's books before she died. Hi, Arthur. How's it going? Nice to meet you, sir. I've had damp all the way up here, I've had damp on the ceilings, I've had water leak, I've had a sewage leak, which was um, diarrhoea, you name it, everything coming through, it destroyed the whole property. All in the toilet, it goes all the way through as well. It went next door into uh, my cupboard as well, destroyed inside my cupboard there. It was coming all out of here, all this is all busted. In the hot weather, you can actually smell where all the, the rubbish and all the poo and everything went down the back of the columns. So you can still smell it in the, in the summer. It's bad. This situation is terrible. You are born in Westminster? Yes, correct. They're not offering you an affordable home in Westminster. You no. have to go to a different borough. No. I tried to succeed in this property and they just refused me straight away. They wanted to put me in a place in Neasden, um, which is a studio flat. I even know that I've been in this borough all my life, even though I've got family here, my kids here, I've got mm. friends here, I've made everyone around here I know. What will you do if one day the bailiffs come? There's nothing I can do. They chuck me out, they, what can I do? I can't do this anymore, it's hard. I can't, I just, I just want to give up. Mm. I seriously just want to give up and just walk away. Because that's what they do to you. They put you under that so much strain that you, you want to walk away. The Hinduja brothers, who are behind the development, are Britain's richest people with an estimated fortune of £28.5 billion. They also have property in Westminster. They bought this series of terrace houses overlooking the Mall just by Buckingham Palace. Under planning policies designed to increase the amount of affordable housing to help tackle the housing crisis, all new developments should include at least 30% affordable housing. In this case, there should be space for 98 affordable flats in there. But actually, there's not going to be any. The developers said it's unviable to have affordable housing next to homes for multimillionaires. Under the rules, if you're not going to build affordable housing on site, you must make a donation to Westminster Council's Affordable Housing Fund. In this case, the donation should have been £39.6 million. But the Hunduja brothers hired a viability consultant who said, Actually, in this case, a £10 million donation would be generous. Westminster Council, which at the time was run by the Conservatives, accepted the £10 million as a generous contribution. The Council, which is now under Labour's control, says they can't reverse the decision. There is a big new development in Westminster down by Downing Street. I'll show you. A four bedroom flat in here sold for £40 million. Pounds. Spare change, yeah? Yeah. Under the law, they should include 98 affordable flats in here, but they're not going to build any. It's, this is what people don't like. Mm. People don't like seeing this. Mm. You know, it upsets them when people have to try and fight for their, their mm. property, mm. and especially when they're trying to get people to help them out, and they're in the lower class. We can't do nothing about that. We're doing our best just to survive. We're all human. Mm. You know, in the next 100 years, there's going to be no one in London except for all rich people. It's, it's sad. It is sad. I'm, I'm seriously worried. If people do start leaving London because of the lack of affordable housing, that's going to affect our teachers, nurses, 
care workers, rubbish collectors, thousands of key workers. I'm a nurse and I live in nurses' accommodation in okay. Westminster. There's like 12 residents and we share bathrooms and toilets. How long have you lived in Westminster? About 25 years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But I think now I'm going to have to move out. So, out of London? Yeah. Because it's too expensive to live in London? Well, it's just trying to get affordable housing. Yeah. You're a nurse and are other nursing colleagues leaving London because it, yeah. they can't get housing? Yeah. There's quite a few. I think people are just getting fed up. But how will London function if, if you and all the other nurses leave? Well, it won't. There's a shortage now, so the problems are happening. Soon there'll be even more multimillionaires in London when they start moving into the development that you can see there with the two towers. And remember, there'll be no affordable housing. And this comes at a time when there's already 4,000 people just in this borough waiting for affordable housing. And as inflation and the cost of living crisis gets worse, there'll be even more people who are struggling to find somewhere to live in the capital.